guys, I'm Rebecca Busick and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. Uh, turn the little notification bell on if you want my videos to actually show up in your subscription feed. Because um, apparently if you don't have the notification bell turned on, that doesn't happen. But anyways, um, what we're going to be... Bleh, what we're going to be talking about today is the Natasha Denona Blush and Glow Mini Palette. I have not used this yet. This is, come on, this is the, how the outer Uticarton is. This was $19, I believe. I got it off the Sephora uh, website. It's really teeny tiny. It comes in this kind of rose gold packaging and it says Natasha Denona blush and glow. I mean, it's really little, but I don't mind that it's small. Um, cause it was more of a reasonable price for Natasha Denona. Obviously probably, you know, price per like gram is probably not that great, but it's a way to kind of try the brand without spending like 80 or $90 on her really big blush and highlight palette. Um, and honestly, I never go through a blush or a highlight, so I'm okay with the small size. So it looks like this, and it also has a little mirror, but I don't want to blind you guys. So it looks like this. So it's kind of a pinky. It, I think it has a bit of a sheen to it, um, maybe, and then this kind of champagne-y looking highlight there. And I have not touched them yet, so let's give them a swatch. Feel pretty soft, not like crazy, crazy soft, but pretty soft. Let's, oop, so this is the blush. It's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. And the highlighter. So the top one there is the blush and the highlight. Hopefully you guys can see that. So let's try and build the blush up a little bit. I'm actually okay with not crazy pigmented um, blushes that as long as you can build them up because um, really strong pigment and blush sometimes comes out kind of harsh and is hard to blend out. It has like a golden reflect, um, kind of like NARS Orgasm is what it reminds me of. So these are them built up a little bit. So that's the blush up here. So you can see kind of that goldeny sheen and then the highlight here. So now that we've swatched them, let's put them on my face. So, oh, I'm going to use this little teeny tiny mirror here. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on the blush. I got this, um, out of a pointed blush brush. It's from Moda Pro. I got it out of my BoxyCharm and it is the blush brush I always use. So I have my brush pretty loaded up and it's not, oh yeah, you can't tell a difference, but it's not coming off super overly strong. It's definitely a very pinky blush. It's pretty. I'm not like blown away, but I think it's a pretty kind of sheeny pink summertime blush, but nothing, nothing crazy, but I do, but it does seem to be buildable, which I appreciate. Now let's take the highlight here. This is an Anastasia 820 A23 highlighting brush and the part I was really looking for to the highlight. So I would say it's more of like a natural glow, more of a sheen. It's not like an ultra, ultra intense highlight. Um, it's a little softer, which isn't bad. Not everybody wants a like massively beaming metallic highlight. So I know my lights are kind of shining off of it, but in person it looks a little bit more natural. There's no shimmer like glitters in it, which I appreciate. I do not like, um, glittery highlights.
right, so what do you guys think? I think it's pretty, um, but I tend to like a pretty intense highlight. I like this kind of metallic, wet, um, really bold highlights. I think it's pretty for a more subtle glow, but I don't think, sorry, I'm reaching over for my setting spray here. I don't think it's like a super high impact wow highlighter, but if you like a little bit more natural and you don't want any glitter, I do think it's pretty. For $19, I don't think it's a bad price point because like I said, I never go through a blush or a highlight. So even though it's teeny, honestly, I never finish a blush or a highlight. So that to me is not a problem. And I think it's pretty. Um, the This is the Too Faced 3-in-1 uh, Hangover RX Replenishing Priming and Setting Spray. Um, it's my favorite to like meld my powders into my skin. And I always feel like it really makes my highlight glow more. So now that it's kind of set down, I think it looks really pretty on the skin. It's not emphasizing a lot of texture. It feels like it melded into my skin. I think it's pretty. I think if you're going for a little bit more glowy, um, subtle highlight, I think it's really pretty. But so far, so I've tried this from Natasha Denona and the Mini Sunset Palette, which I have a previous review on. And I, both of them I think are nice. But I'm not like massively blown away because Natasha Denona is a very hyped up brand. I have not tried any of her large eyeshadow palettes. I know that I was, I've heard that that's a different formula than the mini um, Sunset palette. I always think it's pretty. I always like the look I get with it, but I'm never like blown away. Same with, I feel like this. I think this is pretty. I think it looks nice on the skin, but I'm not like, Oh my gosh, obsessed. Um, I really love my Ofra highlighter. I have the collab with Nikki Tutorials, the Everglow, the little wheel one. I love the Omrizi Anastasia highlight. Um, I like Becca highlights. I have Opal and I have, um, not Champagne Pop, Prosecco Pop. I have that one. I really like those. But I don't know, like I said, I think it's pretty... I don't think I'm like blown away. I'm happy with it for 19 bucks. I'll keep it. It's a nice little set, but I'm not like over the moon for it. I don't know. Do you, did you guys pick this up? What do you think? Let me know. Anyways, I will stop rambling. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye.